Howdy and welcome to this lesson video for adding and subtracting complex numbers. Our learning target is to be able to add or subtract numbers that have eyes in them. Um, those numbers are imaginary and um, any number with an imaginary part is a complex number. So why do we even have complex numbers? Why do we have these numbers with eyes, these imaginary parts? Well, before now, back in Algebra 2, you probably talked about this, uh, the square root of negative, let's say, 27, okay? Back in the old days, they thought this was impossible, taking the square root of a negative number. But they would run into these problems where they needed to solve this, but they thought they couldn't. So the need was to create something that would let you evaluate a square root with a negative under it. And so they coined this imaginary number idea. So let's see what happens. Um, we have a square root. So I need pairs. Um, anytime you have a negative under a square root house, to get rid of it, you take an i out front. Okay, that's the imaginary part. So something that was impossible in the blue now becomes possible by getting rid of the negative by simply putting an i out front. Okay? So then we would just do our normal factor tree of, you know, like 3 and 9, 3 and 3, and we know we need pairs. So because we have a set of 3's, a 3 would come out with the i, and inside would stay a 3. So in the blue with the negative, your hands are kind of tied, you can't do anything. But these mathematicians back in the old days said, let's get rid of the negative by putting the i out, so then that way we can actually do something with this problem. Okay, so that's why we have complex numbers. And that's how we take care of them, by taking the i out. So a complex number has a, a general form, a plus bi, where you have a real part, and then you have an imaginary part. Obviously the imaginary part is denoted by an i. So what we're going to be looking at is how do you add these numbers, these complex numbers that have real and imaginary parts? Well, it's fairly simple. You add the real stuff together, you add the imaginary. So I'm, I'm going to break it up as a visual for you, but by no means do you have to do this for every problem. If you get the hang of it, you can just jump straight to the answer. That's fine with me. But here's how it works. The real stuff we add together, so we're adding 3 plus 7, and then the imaginary stuff, the stuff with the eyes, we add together. Okay, so from my real part, I should have a real part of 10, and then an imaginary part of 10i. We kind of just treat i like a variable, it just kind of is attached and hanging there. So the final answer in complex form, real part comes first, so in the red we got a 10 plus the imaginary part, we got a 10i. So when I add these two complex numbers together in the original problem, they add to the single complex number 10 plus 10i. Okay, so remember this was the real part, this was the imaginary part. So let's try another one. Um, again, just for the visual, I'm going to split it up. But like I said, you don't have to do this every time. Once you get the hang of it, run with it. Okay. So we're adding negative 1 plus 2. Those are the things that don't have i, so those are the real parts. The imaginary parts, ooh, be careful here. We're taking 5i plus because of the minus in that second group, we're going to compensate and think of it as a negative 9i, so that way we don't lose a sign. So when I add the real stuff together, that adds to a positive 1. When I add the imaginary stuff, 5 plus a negative 9, gives me a negative 4i. So as a final answer, with the real part first, it should be a 1. 
plus the imaginary part. But my imaginary part was a negative 4, so it's kind of silly to write plus negative 4i. So I'm just going to write it as minus 4i. So that way it's all simplified and just looks nicer. Okay? So what about subtraction? It's the same exact thing. And actually I used the same problem so we can just see how the, the answers are different. Again, <clears throat> I'm going to split them up. The real versus the imaginary parts. Just to give you a visual. So the real stuff that we're going to subtract, we're going to do 3 minus, okay, notice our sign changed, 3 minus 7 in the real part. And then the imaginary stuff, 4i, again it changed to minus 6i. Okay, so we're not adding anymore, we're subtracting. So 3 take away 7, so you're, you're in the hole. That takes you to negative 4. And then 4i take away 6i, again you're in the hole. 2i, so negative 2. So as a final answer, a single complex number, the real part comes first, negative 4. And again, in my imaginary, because I got a negative, it's going to be minus 2i. All right, this isn't too bad, right? We can handle this. All right, let's see what's coming up next. Another subtraction again. Let me hone in on the middle. Subtraction, that's important. <clears throat> so the real parts, negative 1 and 2, I'm going to subtract negative 1 minus 2. And then over here with the imaginary stuff, the stuff with the i, 5i minus, oh, there's that negative 9i again. So you're subtracting negative. It's important that you have both of those signs so you don't, you know, get your final answer. You don't drop a sign and get messed up. Okay. So negative 1 and you take away 2 more. Well, now you're in the whole 3, so negative 3. But now, over here in the imaginary part, when you have minus a negative, that's the same as plus a positive. So I'm really doing 5i plus 9i, so we're going to bump up to 14i. All right, so one single complex number as an answer. The real part, negative 3, plus the imaginary part, 14i. And there would be my answer when I subtract. All right, so pretty simple enough, right? We, we can handle this, I think so. Let's kick it up a notch. Whoa, what if I've got a mixture of adding and subtracting? Whoa, 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 what's the deal? Well, here's what I would do. Let's add first. So um, maybe I'll write my steps. I'm gonna add the first two. Add first two groups. Okay, so I'm going to split up my real part versus my imaginary part and let's see what happens. So the real part here, negative 1 plus 3, which will give me a 2. And then the imaginary part, 5i plus 4i would be 9i. Okay, so here's what's happening. This guy combined is simply 2 plus 9i. So see how I took the real part, 2, imaginary part, 9i. So these two things added is simply the number 2 plus 9i. So now I'm just taking this new number minus this last guy. Holy cats. I didn't know that this would work out this way, but it's kind of cool. Let's take a look what's going to happen. So let me do a little squiggle here and divide for my second step. And maybe I should label these as steps so you know what I'm doing. So step one, whoop, and then step two, whoop, 
Okay? So we're taking, again, uh, the new group minus the last group. Okay? So, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, there it is verbally. So again, I'm going to split up the real parts versus the imaginary parts to do this subtraction. Okay. So let's see. 2 and then minus 2. Notice how I change it to minus because my operation changed. Okay, that's important. Minus. And then we're doing 9i minus negative 9i. Okay, so in the real part, holy cats, 2 minus 2, ugh, that's a 0. And then the imaginary part, we have minus a negative, so that should turn to plus a positive. So 9 plus 9 would give me 18i. But oh my goodness, as a final answer, my real part is 0, and my imaginary part is 18i. I wouldn't circle this or box this as an answer because technically when one of the parts are a zero, you really don't need it. So I just erased it. And I could simply say that 18i is the answer. Oh my gosh, how cool is that? We added these three complex numbers together and all I had left was an imaginary part. Pretty cool. All right, so that finishes up this video. We're gonna work some more of these in class. So I will see you on the next video. Remain curious and keep learning, guys. Have fun.